Today I'm going to replace an existing wall switch with an Insteon Keypad Link 6 button dimmer. This dimmer can handle 600 watts and can be controlled with a smartphone or through X10 Powerline commands. When I open the box, I get this greeting that says I made a good choice on my purchase. Inside the box, there's the switch itself and the instruction manual. It also comes with a package of wire nuts. In this installation, I'm actually replacing an old keypad link that's no longer working. So before I begin, I'm gonna shut off the electricity and start prying off the decorative faceplate on the switch. Now I need to remove the back plate. And just keep in mind that your wall plate may be different than mine. Now I'll loosen the screws that hold the switch in the wall box. Now I'll slide the old switch out carefully. Before I disconnect the wire nuts, I'm going to make sure the power is off to this switch. I know it's definitely off, so I'll start undoing the wires now. But just make some notes about the wire connections first so you can remember which color goes with what wire on the switch. So here are my two switches side by side. The old keypad link is on the left and the new one is on the right. The new switch is actually slightly thinner than the old one which might make stuffing the wires back into the box a little easier. Now I can start wiring the new switch in reverse order. Once all the connections are done, I'll stuff all the wires back into the box along with the switch. Now I'll secure the keypad link to the wall box. After the back plate goes back on, I'll flip on the power and you should see the off switch light up. And now the keypad link is ready to use. The fade rate is set to a short duration right out of the box, but that can be programmed later with an X10 controller or through a mobile app along with an Insteon hub. But I'll save that programming for another video. I've really been happy with the keypad link dimmers, which is why I bought another one to replace my old one. Now the only thing I need to do is reconfigure this to work with my remote control. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel for more how-to and gadget review videos.